Thank you, Kim. And yes, tonight we will all be inspired. Good evening, NEA family, friends, colleagues, fellow educators, leaders, and community change advocates across this nation and the world. My name is Valerie Fisher, and I am honored to serve as the NEA Chair of the Year for Human and Civil Rights Awards Committee. Although this is my first year as chair, this is my sixth year serving as a member on the Human and Civil Rights Award Committee and the sixth and final year of being on the NEA Board of Directors. It has been one of the greatest joys of my life to serve my association as a member of the Board of Directors and on this significant committee. Again, I welcome all of you to the 53rd Annual NEA Human and Civil Rights Award and the first ever virtual celebration of its kind. Although we could not convene in person, we are proud to continue the tradition of the awards in a new way this year to maintain our commitment to human and civil rights and to commemorate what began with the American Teachers Association, ATA, so long ago. As an association, our timeline in the human and civil rights movement has been long and varied, yet steadfast in always leaning progressively forward. As the chair of the NEA Human and Civil Rights Award uh, Committee and the Black Caucus and lover of history myself, I am honored to uphold the legacy of the American Teachers Association, ATA, and the commitment made in that 1966 merger of the NEA and the ATA, that we as an association would never abandon the commitment to advancing the movement for justice. As an association body, we knew that no matter the pandemic or crisis of the time, there is always good work to be uplifted. We must always honor those striving for justice and a better, more equitable, more ideal nation. I speak to you now as one, but I have been supported and this work has been led by a committee of dedicated individuals from across this nation and the globe who have worked tirelessly throughout the year to solicit nominations, promote the awards, and ultimately recommend honorees to be recognized. They are Reed Britz from Michigan, Rudy Burris from Pennsylvania, Michael Harmon from Utah, Tracy Hartman Bradley, from Nebraska, John Horgan from Connecticut, Serena Koch from New York, Robbie Kritz from California, Anita Lang of the Federal Education Association, Ruth Leuven from California, Gladys Marquez from Illinois, Ronald Martin from Wisconsin, Julio Morales from North Carolina, Cecily Maillard Cruz from California, Angela Stewart from Ohio, Louise Stomper from Illinois, Ken Tang from California, Marilyn Warner from Florida, and last but certainly not least, Robert Rodriguez of the NEA Executive Committee. These notable NEA leaders dedicated an immense amount of time outside of their regular day jobs to enable and drive this virtual ceremony and to honor our incredible awardees. They are truly racial and social justice advocates. Throughout this year, they have contributed their hearts to the work and even in these challenging times, exhibited true commitment to uplifting human and civil rights. To the 2020 HCR Awards Committee, I share a resounding thank you. I have been honored 
to sit at the table with you. We are proud to honor and present to our 11 phenomenal 2020 Human and Civil Rights Award recipients. As you take the time to explore this special site dedicated to their accomplishments, you will find that our award winners are community leaders and organizations, NEA members, public servants, and cultural advocates. They are individuals who, in some circumstances, took moments of deep pain, tragedy, and used them to catalyze better outcomes for their communities. They, in so many ways, are like you, NEA. Since February, when our world and our students were turned upside down, when our communities needed beacons of light and hope, we showed up in so many ways. Whether it be our ESP members who risked their own lives to serve meals to hungry students during this pandemic, or teachers who put in extra time to ensure their students would academically and mentally stay afloat during these challenging times, or the time each spent checking in on our students when faced with trauma to reaffirm them that no matter their race, gender, sexual orientation, ability or status, they mattered. In that way, I hope that each of you joining tonight and visiting the site to learn about our award winners find a little bit of yourselves in their stories. Each of us has the power and capacity to lead. Each of us as educators and leaders know our communities well and see how our communities and our nations can be transformed for the better. Each of us has paid witness to or even experience inequities in society and know that we cannot settle for the status quo. This question we must ask ourselves is, what are you willing to do about it? How are we going to make a change? In the stories of our award winners, I hope we all find that spark to push or to make change and take actions in our communities. Be inspired to start that campaign plan to run for office, to register yourself and others to vote this November, to reach out to that colleague to start their support programs in your school community. Be inspired to sign up volunteers and to support a family in need. As you consider ways to get involved and amplify the voice of change in your communities, I encourage you as NEA members to consider nominating someone for a Human and Civil Rights Award. There's no better way to build community and connections than to uplift the work of others or even your own work via HCR Awards nominations. You will find more information on how to nominate someone for an award through this site and also by visiting www.nea.org slash HCR awards. Remember, you will always have your NEA family backing you. To that end, please join in the fun tonight by utilizing hashtag NEA HCR awards on social media. Your live tweets, posts, pictures, and tributes to our award winners will be captured live and in real time on this site to showcase our community of human and civil rights advocates. Thank you for joining us and being a part of history. Finally, as a tribute to our esteemed award winners and all of our guests tonight. It is my honor to introduce our entertainer for this evening. Harold as a singer of immense power and fervor by the Los Angeles Time, Devon Tynes is a world-renowned opera singer. As a young artist steeped in cultural advocacy 
racial and social justice, Devon is a winner of the 2020 Sphinx Medal of Excellence, recognizing extraordinary, classical, exceptional power and unique vocals of Devon, who will commemorate our winner and move us in time through song. Please join us back here after Devon's performance for a special dedication to our fearless leader, NEA President Lily Eskelson Garcia. Enjoy. <laughs> 